Ah, right, morning everyone. Thought I'd just stop and uh, switch the camera on around St Ives. Uh, we're out for a little bimble today, going to uh, Two Flags over near Rutland Water, uh, taking some nice roads. Uh, so just uh, go through, this is um, Huntingdon, which is uh, quite pretty this time of the morning with the sun out. So we're going to go out through the Offords, St Neots, uh, Kim Bolton, Oundall and end up at Two Flags for a bit of brekkie. Uh, right, so I'll uh, speak to you in a bit. Right then, here we are back again. Um, we sort of jumped forward a little bit. Uh, we're just coming into St Neots. Oh, it's a fairly decent sized sort of market town. There's not much that I don't think of any interest here. Um, oh, they're okay, so they're doing a bit of building work in there. That's quite a nice little town square. As you can see, there's lots of bikes that meet up there and that's sometimes on a Sunday morning um, but yeah as I say other than that it's not really very much of, of interest it's not some quite nice views around I suppose one one big thing that happened here was that there was um, a massive drop in high house prices um, maybe about 10 years ago something like that um, now you'd think this was probably due to I don't know it being sitting on a floodplain or I don't know some sort of massive unemployment or uh, factory closure or something like that but no it was nothing like that um, my wife's sister moved in um, so yeah I mean and then it's sort of every house from next door to her from that sort of radiated out just uh, dumped all its value so uh, yeah that's one notable thing that happened here yeah, which is a shame really because it's quite a nice little place but um, it, uh, yeah, it all took a bit of a nosedive. These people must be absolutely gutted. Anyway, back to the ride. So we're going to head out now towards Kim Bolton. Um, I'll point it out when we get there, but Kim Bolton was um, the last, uh, let's say, residence of Catherine of Aragon. Uh, Henry VIII sent her there to live out her days. And uh, whether she actually died there, I think she did. And she's now buried in um, Peterborough Cathedral. She has a little shrine and monument in the cathedral which is quite good and people to this day still place pomegranates on the tomb on the, on the stone uh, because that's what she did she was a um, her family grew pomegranates uh, little known fact but there you go ok so yeah we're uh, Heading out now towards Kim Bolton. Speak to you in a bit.
dip this. They wonder why they get run over. Again, just coming into Kim Bolton and Stonely, so it said. Back to B660, that's a great road. But as you see, going into Kim Bolton, this is all part of the Kim Bolton Castle. It's now a school. They do have open days twice a year. You can go in and have a wander around. Yeah, that's the castle there. So not really more, a castle. It doesn't look much like a castle, but it is. Uh, it's much more of a of a stately home. Pretty impressive inside. Some of the rooms. There we go, you have a, there's a sign on the door, look, on the oh, open morning. No, they def definitely have open weekends. It's nothing like the last weekend of May or, or something. But, uh, that's, uh, I bet this is Kim Bolton itself. Very old. Well, there ain't nothing much here. dare say some of these buildings were, were here at the time. I bet it looked very different. Okay, as you can see, not a big place, but we I'm now going this way. Okay, catch it a bit. Yeah, right, that's it. Back on the road again, just a little, a quick pit stop. To do a battery change on the camera. And to put an extra layer on. Put my head in a shell under thingy, under liner thingy, which, which is the fucking best thing, the best investment I've ever done. Uh, it, it's like paper thin. I don't know what it's made of, but it's like this paper thin, nylon-y type material that you don't, you can't, you can fit it under anything because it's so thin. But if you're wearing a vented jacket like I am today, a vented leather jacket, it's like somebody's just closed all the vents. It's like the wind then just doesn't blow through. And I've been thinking about getting another one. Because, they're like, seriously, they're that good. I've had this thing for years, since I, almost since I started riding. And I had a set of, like, one-piece vented levers. And it was suggested to me to buy this for a cold, for cold mornings and my god what a difference it makes it's like, there's no lining in it there's no padding in it it's just a, a thin piece of whatever it is wind stopper material but typically Eds don't do them anymore 
fight a look on the website during the week because I was I was going to buy another one now, in case this one ever I don't know disintegrated and you can't buy them they don't do them anymore all they do now is this like merino wool merino stuff and um, I've got um, three layers on today because you know, I'm, I'm sick of wearing like winter jackets winter clothes, winter gear so I'm out in levers, two piece levers but they are vented um, and I've got three layers on I've got a, oh, is it like a mountain warehouse um, thermal base layer I've also got another mountain warehouse like merino base layer and I've got the Uniqlo warmest um, base layer and the wind was still cutting through it Just put the eggs under some inner shell on. Nothing at all. No wind coming through. Well, to be honest, I reckon you could probably get the same sort of if effect with a beam liner. Which wouldn't be a bad idea actually to carry something like that. Just to cut hold in and slip it over your head when it's cold like this. How can they not not make the best thing that they've ever done? Please me. Oh, so anyway, ran over. Just been through Kimball. We're on our way out to Oundle now. And I'll uh, speak to you in a minute. Right, back again. Another. Another time jump. So we're going. This is Oundle. Very old place by the looks of it. I don't know much about it, but there it is. Right, so we had a little bit of a detour there. I didn't bother filming it, but I missed a turn in and I ended up in the arse end of nowhere. And they're going down some uh, single track stuff and uh, yeah, it's pretty rough in places. But anyway, back on the road, back on the, uh, on the right route now. Right, back again, here we are, almost at two flights. Some lovely views up here. I just wish it was a bit warmer. Now today the old uh, wind is cutting through. Right, yeah, it looks like there's a few, a few bikes in there today. Time for a bit of brekkie. Bloody hell, yeah, there is a lot. I think what we'll do is go on the end.
it's a uh, oh. stop the indicators and uh, right I'm gonna go and get something to eat and uh, I'll see you all on the next one bye for now